The freedom of the city is the biggest honour Dublin can bestow on one of its citizens. It goes back a long, long time. It's an ancient honour that has been granted by the Lord Mayor and Dublin City Council to people who have displayed exceptional leadership and are an inspiration to their fellow Dubliners. And it's very, very historic. We don't have an honour system in Ireland, but this is a way of drawing attention to and honouring our inspirational uh, leaders and holding them up so people can take inspiration from them. And it's a great, great honour as the Lord Mayor of Dublin to have been able to bestow freedom of the city on Father Peter McVeary and Brian O'Driscoll. This chapter will be long on the ground. I think the feedback was probably shock, first and foremost. Brian is a... Uh is an icon. I mean, he's he's achieved everything that you can achieve in his particular world of rugby. Uh, so I thought it was uh, it was it was a great uh, for him to receive it, and I was very honoured to be uh, in on the same page as himself. What he, what Peter does is life or death, and he changes people's lives. And it's you know when when you're paired with someone like that, it's you know it's hard to feel justified to to receive a role that is on the same level as someone like that. It just felt like the right thing to do for the city to hold up these two people and say, we want to give you the highest honour we can, make you free men of Dublin, and to thank you for the contribution you've made to date and I've no doubt into the future. You brought me one step closer to the heart. You know, when you have an honour like this bestowed upon you, it's strange in that you kind of wonder, why am I in this group of people? You go down through this list of, of very distinguished people who are world names, I, I just sort of feel I'm in the Tupney Hipney place compared to them. Pretty humbling. Well, it did start a long time ago, so it carried with it some um, ancient privileges and uh, some old duties as well. I think there's a big onus on you more than receiving a number of things. I think you know to be willing to join the city militia um, at any time. I have to defend um, the city. But you were obliged to have a bow made of you, a, uh, a mail chain coat, a sword, and a, and a helmet. Uh, they say you know you, I'm also meant to possess a a light helmet. Uh, I don't know what light helmet is going to fit around this head, so I might just going to be a heavy enough helmet. For me to be uh, a Dubliner, a free man, is, uh, is, is an invitation to, to work to make Dublin a better place for everybody. Still something special about Dublin, just a feel-good factor, it's home and it's where I'm at my most comfortable. And this is a chance to say to all Dubliners, look, you know, this is a great city, but it's great because we've got great men like this doing this kind of work. And that gives us permission to stand up and try and do the same. <laughs>